Hey, what's up guys? JakeMTG here, and we are going to be going over a deck that we're going to be playing at the early streamer event that Wizards invited me to play. And they're going to give me a, an account where it's going to have all the, you know, the new standard set. And, uh, you know, they gave that for free and we're going to have a lot of fun time playing it tomorrow. So this is one of the lists that we're going to be playing. Um, I named it uh, Gris Grixis Expansion. So basically, um, this is like a Grixis control deck, but with a little combo in it. Uh, the combo in the deck is we are going to be playing Raul Storm Conduit. Uh, what he does is whenever we cast a co uh, or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Raul Zarek, well, not Raul Zarek, but Raul Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. So we're going to be dealing the damage to our opponent, but how do we make this into a combo? Well, we're going to be casting like a cheap spell, kind of like Opt or uh, Shiv and Fire. We can cast those, but and uh, that is what we have to lead off with because what he says is when we minus two, whenever we cast our next instant sorcery spell, copy it. So that's our first one. Our next one would be our expansion. Expansion, it copies the spell, right? So we're going to be holding priority of the Shiv, uh, Shiv and Fire or the Opt that we cast as well as our expansion, and we're going to be casting the copy of that expansion that we make with Ral, targeting our expansion and keep repeating the process um, until you know we kill our opponent dealing 20 damage for each copy that we do so that's kind of like a simple way to win with this deck but there's other ways that we can win with this uh, we can copy an eternal uh, god eternals basically when we copy that we're going to be dealing eight damage to our opponent we're going to be gaining that life back as well we're going to be milling eight cards from their library into their graveyard and we're going to be making also an eight eight zombie armor creature uh, army creature token so um there's a bunch of ways that we can get around with this there's kill spells like tyrant scorn and Ang angrath's rampage uh, we have Ral's outburst which is a really 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 good card as well we have um, Augur of Bolas looking through our, uh, you know, top of our library for the top three cards, getting our pieces like expansion, stuff like that, so we can cast that out earlier. Then we have, you know, the um, basically, you know, the same control package counter spells. We have uh, Sinister Sabotage, we have Sink of Bates, and then we're going to have Shiv and Fires for those aggro decks that are going to be super popular in the first couple days. Um, we also are running Niv Mizzet as an alternate win con. We can be casting our spells, pinging our opponent, drawing cards, and it can't be countered if we go and play against a control deck, which is great. Alrighty, so we got our land package, and then we're going to be going into our sideboard. So uh, basically, it's um, goes attacks different decks in different areas. We got negates against control as well as Thought Eraser. Uh, we have Thief of Sanity also gets control and also God Eternal uh, Kefnet. Um, against the aggro matchups, we're going to be putting in our Fire Cannonades. So we can also put in Thief of Sanities in there if we want to. Um, and against the mid range matchup, we can put Thought Erasers and also Thiefs. Um, so that's a little bit of a breakdown of the deck. Just want to do a quick video for you guys. Um, we will be posting an article of this also on Aetherhub if you want to go and check that out. It's going to be our first article um, on that website. So um, if you guys have any questions about it, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you are going to be playing um, in this new uh, um, standard format. I would love to see what you guys are playing. Alrighty, have a good one.